Hi students, in this video we're going to look at how determining specific antiderivatives by using antidifferentiation. Alright, so what you should be able to do, students, is if you're given a derivative or given a gradient function, uh, what we want to be able to do is work out the original function, so antiderive, but also work out the specific value of c is basically what we're working towards. But to do that, we need to know some sort of initial condition about our function. So some things to remember. We need to remember our anti-differentiation rules. We'll need to remember that anti-differentiation is the opposite of deriving. And we also need to remember that we need to add that constant c anytime we do anti any anti-differentiation. But what we're doing now is we're going to try and work out our value of c. And so there's a few reasons this might be important. If, for example, we know the velocity of an object but want to know its position, well, we need to anti-derive that. We need to go backwards from deriving, anti-differentiate. But to, if we do that, we get some value of c. And if we're trying to work out how far or the displacement of an object is, we need to know that value of c. But to, do, to work out that value of c, what we need is we need to know some value of our original function. So we need to know some value of capital F of X, our antiderivative, and once we substitute those values in, we can actually just rearrange it to determine our value of C. All right, so when we have to determine a specific antiderivative, what we have to do is basically carry out two steps. First step is to do our antidifferentiation. Second step is to substitute in the values that we know to determine the value of our constant of integration, to determine our value of C. All right, so we've got our example here. We've got f dash x equals, let's get my pen ready, f dash x equals 4x minus 7. And we're given some initial condition. My original function at x equals 2 is equal to 1. So with that information, we should be able to work out what the value of c is and hence have a complete function fx. So we've got f dash x is 4x minus 7. So f of x is going to be the integral of 4x minus 7 dx. And integrating that, that will become 4x squared over 2 minus 7x plus c, which simplifies to 2x squared minus 7x plus c. So now what we need to do is because we've got this initial condition, we've been given some values, we can substitute in x equals 2, and we should get a value of our function of 1. So knowing that f of 2 equals 1, we can say that 1 is going to equal, or 1, the value of my function, is going to equal 2 times 2 squared minus 7 times 2 plus c. Simplifying that, uh, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8, minus 14 plus c, 1 equals negative 6 plus c, 7 equals c. So therefore, my function is 2x squared minus 7x plus 7. And that's my specific antiderivative. That's the exact function I wanted to determine which I could only get this time because I had some values I could substitute in and determine a value for c. All right, let's do another one. I uh, give it f dash x equals 4e to the 3x minus 1, and f naught equals negative 1, determine my function. Once again, the steps are the same. So my function is going to be my integral of my derivative, so 4e 3x minus 1 x, which is going to be 4e to the 3x divided by 3. So that's my rule when integrating exponentials. Divide by the derivative of the power. And then minus integral of 1 is just 1x plus c. And then I also know what my function f of 0 equals negative 1. So let's substitute in f of 0. So negative 1 is going to, it's my value of my function, substituting in x equals 0, 4e to the 0, and 3 
minus 0 plus c, that's negative 1 equals 4 thirds, minus 0 to 0 plus c, 1 is 3, uh, negative 1 is negative 3 over 3, so rearranging that, c equals negative 7 on 3, so therefore my original function, f of x, is 4e to the 3x over 3 minus x minus 7 thirds. Right, so students, after watching this video, you should be able to now determine an original function or an integral or an, an antiderivative um, without needing to put in plus c as long as you're given an initial initial.